Rebecca, they're watching us. Oh, um, Great. Just, just doing me end. They're keeping them waiting. They're, they're what? Look. They're just, they're just there. They're watching us. Hey, look, this, this is our little. We're staying in a like a. It's not B and B, is it? Is it B and B? It's kind of is. Self accommodation yeah. in Scotland. This is so cool. What are we doing today? <laughs> Trains, something. Trains, something. Oh, right uh, seventeen twenty-two projects. Very exciting. Um, Edinburgh, yeah. ish, kind ish. of. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Kackenzie. Kackenzie. Uh, at the harbour, mm. waiting for Ed. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit cold. Should we have a explore round? Yeah, go on. <laughs> so, that little bit there is like a, a little natural harbour, and they used to uh, get salt from the actual water, heated by the coal, and the coal they got from the um, Trident coal mine. I guess up the road and they didn't realise at that stage how important um, coal was in the grand scheme of things until sort of the early 1700s. Fascinating little stories right here. We need to go find Ed and Rebecca who is filming um, Mr Wintoon's house which he built just there before the first Jacobite failure of 1715. It sounded like a historian all of a sudden. You appear to be going around in circles, Rebecca. Uh, actually, I went this way and I went back this way as well. I forgot I haven't walked that side yet. Okay, so we're going to find Ed. Yes, let's. We've been aware now for some time that there was quite a groundbreaking project taking place just to the east of Edinburgh. We wanted to learn a little bit more about what claimed to be Scotland's first railway. So we ventured north to meet up with Ed and his team to find out what it was all about. Well, we really must start like taking people's phone numbers uh, that we're going to meet rather than just like winging it on Twitter, direct messages, because if we lose service or something. Yeah. Right, so here we are inside the museum. We're looking for Ed, I think Ed's just through here. He disappeared outside the door. He disappeared outside the door. He's gone back He's out. There <laughs> <laughs> right, let's come out let's come back outside. So we we are here. Um Ed, welcome. Hi. You've, you've got an Alan. We've got an Alan. You've got a Douglas. <laughs> Douglas looking after the pace while we go for a quick walk up the road. Yeah. Um, so it, this is called the Wagonway, or is it called 1722 Project, or? Uh, 1722 Wagonway Project. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you had it all there, but had it all there, <laughs> in the wrong order. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna have a look down at the harbour mm -hmm. first of all. Yeah. Plenty then we're gonna have, brilliant. Then we're gonna walk up the original um, tramway. Um, have a look in the museum and learn a bit more about the project. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Ed, you are you're the founder of the of the project. Yeah. We were reading a little bit this morning. I can't remember what website. It wasn't your website actually? Maybe Twitter. Historic or, Scotland, or, perhaps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, Alan has also been instrumental, I understand, in unearthing, literally. Uh, well, it was a joint effort, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots, it was lots of local volunteers and things like that. So yep. quite a lot of people have helped out. Okay, over. brilliant. Which is always needed, isn't it? And to have yeah. the community involved. It's very much a case of uh, there being an opportunity for a project and all the right people being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, uh, perfect. So we're very fortunate in that yes. regard. Yeah. Um, and Alan's the archaeologist for our project, so without him we wouldn't get to do half the archaeological digs we do. Right. We'll find bits of yep. the railway. So, uh. so while we come to the harbour first, what's the what's the significance with the with the project? Well, this this is believe it or not, this is actually one of the later parts of of, the, of this particular wagonway. Right. The, there is another harbour about a mile along the high street uh, called Port Seaton Harbour, and the okay. original wooden wagonway went there. And this right. is the terminus of the later replacement for, for here we're talking early 18, uh, early 1800s 1815 thereabouts yep. um, and the original wooden one 1722 so we're literally walking on the route just now right and as we hit these cobblestones the big quayside stones yep um, you are now on a turntable okay wow uh, so <laughs> right here there was a turntable uh, and, and that's we... one of the edging stones right there wow um, and you're 
where you've backed into there, you, that's where a tipping device was. Yep. So the, the wagons get spun round on a turntable, filled with coal onto the tipping device. It tips a wagon like that, and the coal shoots out into a big hopper waiting to go into the ships. Right. And underneath there is a massive counterweight pit um, for this huge device. Which okay, good tipping device, yeah, okay, makes yeah. sense, yep. Um, Around the rest of the harbour, all the bollards are are cast iron, apart from this wooden post there. So it's uh, possible okay. that that's been part of the yeah. the mechanism, and they've just put it upright. Oh, yeah. we've, we've got to work that out yet. It's just a yeah. bit of a, an anomaly in the side of the harbour. If you go back 300 years, salt was the biggest industry yeah. in the whole of Scotland. And, and this little stretch of coastline here made 10% of all the salt in Scotland. Wow. Um, which is a, it's yeah. a phenomenal amount. Yeah. So it's a ma it's massive industry and this is... And is that just circumstance? Is that just because... I mean, the, the, yeah, you'd assume there's no difference in the, the, the level of salt in the water. No, or... it's actually the salt, the, 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 the salinity in, in this part of the sea is quite low. It's only about three, okay. or, three or three and a half percent. So it is just circumstance that they, they were here, this is what they did and they worked hard at it and it became a... Yeah, so what you've got is you've got a coal seam near the surface. Yep. And then you've got the right geology on the coast right. for being able to collect water yeah. um, in these rocks on the shore. So this has all fueled the need uh, yeah. or, the, or the, the, the circumstance for, for being able to make salt here. Yeah. So we're just coming up now to School Lane and this is our first glimpse, I say glimpse, we're not going to see anything at this stage, of the wooden, the original 1722 tramway, which would have gone, I'm assuming... We... So it's coming down from that direction there, Yep. all the way down here, and down right to down. hit the high street at the end, Yep. and then it takes a bit of a dog leg to the right and along to Port Seaton Harbour, okay, as far as we can make out from yes. the various records we've got. As, as fortune would have it, Alan, look, Alan lives in New Street just there, yep. and he looked at his title deeds from when the houses were built in about 1860s, yeah. and what did you find? Uh, basically, it, it mentions that when the land is feud to build houses, yep. it's on the, the east side of the old wagon way. Wow. This is in 1863, so that's how we knew. Wow. And do, so when, well, with that in mind then, when did they... When did the, this this wagon we stop being used? There's a there's a period of transition where um, ownership changes hands at the end of the 18th century. Yeah. And then the new owners, the Caddell family, who have got the house, they've got the wagon, they've yeah. got the salt pans, they've got the coal pits. Um, they they undergo a period of upgrading, uh, and the, it takes them a, a good couple of decades, but by the early 19th century, then, then they, they upgrade the railway to Iron Rail. Half a century on, they're still very aware of what it was. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. One of the things that we, we learn when we're out and about, and we've got actual proper historians with us, are little things like this. So I would never imagine that that wall would have a great significance, but so both of the wagon ways, including the original wooden, took that alignment there. Now, if I spin the camera around this way, where the wall break is here, so the original, again, the original wooden wagon way carried on going in that line here. Now, Ed was just saying that there, where the wall has sort of a break in it and goes off that way is where the, um, the 1815 onwards, so the metal rails went that way. So it splits here. So this could hold some great significance into the to the to the, the design and the change over time that these lines had. And again, we read the horses would have pulled a, f a good few of the wagons back at a time. Yeah, so four or five wagons at a time, yeah. pulling the empties back up, maybe one or two horses. You know, there's a good, there's a good regular incline coming down here. So you can imagine, yeah, two ton wagons, four or five of them coupled together. Yeah, it would have built up a reasonable amount of speed coming yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But when you hit the flat section at the bottom, you probably need to carry that speed into that, to, yeah. so you, you're not having to put horses on yes. every five minutes. But yeah, just uh, one or two brakemen 
operating the brakes on the on the train. And they would literally want to just sit on top of the wagon and sit on sit on the wagon and sit on the brake if they needed to control the speed. Yeah. But the last thing they're trying to do is stop the actual wagon. Yeah, need just that momentum yeah. to carry all the way down. Wow. So I, I guess that became quite an art form and something that they um, got very used to. And a lot better than working down the coal pit. Yeah. Known locally and and wider as as the battlefield. Because right. that's where the Battle of Preston Pans was fought in 1745. Right. And the wagonway wa was there during yep. the battle. Yes. Um, albeit, from where we're standing now, the ground level is about a metre lower. Okay. Um, so it's yep. much less of a kind of raised feature, which we'll see when we come out through the, through the trees at the end. Yeah. Pretty much right here is the trench. Yes. The important trench. Yes. The very important trench. <laughs> yes. June 2019, we, we did a bit of research and figured out that this is the least spoiled part of the of the whole route. Yep. Um, and uh, spoke to the council archaeologists and got permission to put a small trench in across here. Yeah. Just to test the level of preservation, we're very lucky to find um, a meter below the level where we're standing now cobbled horse track and the imprints of the wooden rails either side yeah. and on the corresponding side we dug another trench across here um, the following day just to test um, we needed to have a look at the whole width yeah. um, and found lovely wheel ruts filled with coal deposits and things um, which we can only assume is from the earlier trackway yeah unfortunately that half of the trench is Trashed, it's a great right. water main that goes down oh, that side, okay. So it's gone, right? But it was quite good for the evidence we did get. Um, we had, as Ed saying, we had the evidence for the cart track yeah. down this side. You've got to imagine that these walls aren't here, yeah. Ignore them, it's just a, it's a flat field, yeah. Um, the wooden 1722 wagon way is there, there's a cart track here on the outside, there's a bank and ditch, yeah. We got evidence for that. There may be one. On the other side as well, we didn't get evidence for that, but there's no reason why they should no, be just we, one. We would assume, yeah. So there's a, a demarcation here yeah. through the fields either side. Right. That was the first one I ever found. <laughs> oh wow! So we now stood just above the um, East Coast Main Line, um, and Ed has pointed out in this little bridge here, right down there is a sleeper block. A um, couple of pinholes and that was one of the early, earliest ones you found, is that right? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, right at the start of when I when I first moved to this area and I was doing a bit of poking around, yeah. this was the first one that, uh, that I found. And that um, brought up a, a question mark. And that kind of got the, it fueled the, yeah. oh, there must be more stuff to find, yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, just beyond here, if you look down and onto the East Coast Main Line, formerly North British Railway, you can see the, the feelings uh, of the other the, the other bridge that carried the wagonway across the main line. So that, that was yeah. a bridge that was put in uh, in 1846 when this line was built yeah. um, in order to allow the wagonway to continue in operation despite yeah. this major bit of engineering coming through. And if we We'd come to the end of our walk with Ed and Alan and headed back down towards the museum. There is a huge amount to be learnt here, far more than can be conveyed in just a 15 minute video. Um, and that's the end of our day isn't it really? Yeah. Um, wonderful day. Thank you so much gents. It's been a real well, pleasure well. walking up yeah, there with you. A pleasure. Um, anything you wanted, is there anything people can do? Could they, they can obviously come and visit you for a start. Yeah, so they um, can come here and visit the, the museum. Um, there's actually, the, the route we've just been walking, yeah. um, there's actually a mobile app which oh, really? um, there's there's the QR code up on the yep, door there. Right, we'll do that. So you can download that, and if you're in the area, you can uh, download that, and it will guide the app will guide you up the route, and it'll give you points of interest along the way. That's brilliant. The history that we've just been talking about. Yeah, you can get that via the app. Okay. Yeah. Right, we'll do that. Come visit. Um, come say hello to these guys. Yeah. And um, we'll follow us on Facebook. Yes, like of course. Us, yeah, we'll put your socials. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Do all of those things, and we'll um, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.